Is there an actual big board? No. No big board? No. Is In it- our minds there is. I would say eventful. Um, you know, last season feels, even with the bubble, you know, we got back in the beginning of September, it feels just surreal. So, um, you know, you talk about us you know, getting ramping right back up. Uh, it's interesting, it's a truncated part to get started for December 1 with camp, but frankly, like with the draft coming up, we've been preparing for the draft for eight months because it's been you know, moved around or just based on data, so we're very well prepared for that. We obviously missed out on the last part of the NCAA season with no tournament, but most of those guys that are eligible to be drafted have, have a good amount of tape. It's just that that tape stopped, you know, beginning of March. So, um, also the limited ability for us to interact with guys. So yes, a lot of Zoom interviews. Um, you know, a lot of watching what we're allowed to watch in terms of film and workouts, and then there's definitely and then medical information. Just there's going to be a lot of holes, just because we don't have our normal process. One of the things that's really beneficial for us is being able to get a prospect in here in our own building, in this beautiful building that we have, and the facilities and resources we have. And so they get a chance to interact with the staff, with the coaching staff, management, with our health performance staff, see how they react, see how they deal with instruction, um, some competitive elements, and uh, really just get a chance to know each other better. Now, a lot of that has to do with the majority of it is on a Zoom call, and getting to know guys' personality and doing background information on them and then watching them play and then trying to make a projection of what those things are going to do, you know, what things that those guys do that are going to be able to translate to help us win. You know, it's similar to another year, not that 2020 has been similar in, of anything, but we've always worked on multiple timelines. Like, free agencies normally you know, 10, 12 days after the draft. So we would take days out to study free agency or study our own team, um, you know, study the league, try to really learn from, you know, our results this past season, the whys and uh, you know, why it happened or different things that happened and see what kind of things in the market that we might be able to accomplish and what we need to study. So, I mean, with free agency being only 48 hours after the draft, we've just kind of had to add a few more days of that to be prepared rather than a bulk of it happening between the draft and free agency. So we'll be ready to go. Very happy and uh, for the NBA in terms of being able to reach an agreement with the Players Association. Um, all of us understanding how important basketball is not only to this community but the NBA fans at large, um, the business of it, but also you know the joy people get watching and the joy we have of putting a competitive team out there for for our fans here in Utah. So. As much as you know, an off season gets truncated because a lot of our off season has been waiting around for that news. But we've just kind of constantly tried to prepare that we knew that we'd get later notice, so that whenever they were ready to start and had an agreement, that we'd be ready. So more relief that we have a season next year. How we help and assist Donovan and Rudy. I mean, it, frankly, it goes for the rest of our team as well. Anybody that's a member of the Utah Jazz. Um, this great facility, the resources that have been poured in here from ownership, um, the talent we have in our health performance department and our coaching department uh, to really let these guys grow and then making sure that they have everything they need. Um, the players that we bring in too have a high drive to be very good and they're competitive and they want to win. So constantly in a, ch- in a changing landscape in the NBA, the game has changed, frankly, since Rudy got in the league, it's changed. It's changed dramatically even in the last 24 months. So making sure that we're able to be nimble to continue to build around them and give them support and field a competitive team, because both of those guys are some of the best competitors I've ever met. They want to win a title. We want to too, and it's a constant evolving process, but we've got a good group around them, and uh, we'll constantly look for ways to improve the team. The 
expectations, it's really more about, for us, our team had a lot of new parts last year. And every year with a team, there's going to be new parts. There, We have a draft pick coming up. We have free agency coming up. Um, there's always going to be new parts. I think uh, us seeing the guys that we had part of this team last year, you know, be able to, they, one, they really like each other. Two, they're very highly skilled. What can we do to take another step, whether that's in addition to uh, roles? I think we spent this year really figuring out coach and his staff really figuring out and optimizing um, what our players abilities are and then where are the things that we need to shore up you know as Dennis has said in um, some of our postseason you know media availability uh, we need we need to get better defensively on a more consistent basis we have you know the best defensive player in the world uh, with Rudy Gobert and we have some players with good defensive talent we need to add add to that just like we added to the offensive group um, to get Donovan more help the year before so how that all works out I think you know our coaching staff does a great job of getting guys integrated quickly I think we will probably have a little more continuity this year than we did last year so that's always help and hopefully we come December 22nd and we, we tip the ball up that we have a healthy group and I'll take those chances you know, with whatever we do in the draft and free agency, it'll be a compliment to the group to hopefully give us a chance to be better. And, you know, the guys that are coming back um, and that end up being back with the team next year, I have no doubt that they'll continue to you know, perform at a high level.